Hey you guys, welcome back to the Cosmic Royal Family. How are you guys doing? I hope that you are doing amazing. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you guys are returning, welcome back, all right? All right, so we're gonna be pulling from our Wild Truth Oracle deck, you guys. And let's see what messages um, Spirit has for you guys, okay? All right, Divine Ancestors, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, my full spiritual cord. I ask that you guys step in, cover me, and protect me. As I channel the message for the Divine Collective, I also consecrate my energy and my space and my surroundings. In God's name it is so. Amen. My energetic field. Okay. What do the collective need to know right now? What do my divine collective need to know? I'm hurt, so I hurt other people. So hurt people hurt people. Y'all got somebody who hurt you because they was hurt, so they took their hurt out on you? Somebody who refused to do the work to heal for real? So instead of them healing, they took their frustrations out on you, okay? They could have had a crappy childhood like most people. You know, they maybe their life wasn't so great like most people. You know, everybody go through things, you know, at collective. Everybody go through something. Everybody, I don't care how perfect you think somebody's life is, they can, I promise you, there's something that they can complain about for real. But this person decided to take their frustrations out on you. Tell me about this person. Who is this? Um, who is this person that claimed that they did, they hurt the collective or they hurt people because they hurt? Who is this person? The moon in reverse. Releasing fear, upheaval, secrets, truth, composure, and self-deception. All right. Maybe this is someone who's been trying to keep their composure. Something could have been exposed to you about this particular person here. There was some type of um, unveiling, some type of truth, truth coming out about this person, some type of secrets being exposed about this person. Tell me more about this person. The Ten of Wands. This is a burden. This person is either being burdened in life right now. This person was a burden to you guys. I heard it was like fighting an uphill battle with this person here. You experienced a lot of delays with this individual collective. Yeah, because the spirit is saying this person was foolish. Something about them being foolish and impulsive. This person could have misjudged you or they could have. First of all, they shouldn't be placing judge on you no way for real. This is somebody who refused to change the tower in reverse. Resistant to change, y'all. So this is somebody who had... For whatever reason, this person refused to change. I don't know why they refused to change. Everybody has, you know, time. And some people just refuse to sit and soak in their misery. I feel like this person decided to sit and sit and soak in the things that ha have happened to them and stay in this victim energy instead of learning like certain specific divine lessons and karmic lessons and um, allowing it to make them better and allowing it to make them treat other people better like i feel like this person instead of them treating other people the opposite of way that people have treated them they decided to treat everybody the way that they've always been treated and I, that's not what divine meant to happen yeah the ten of swords this is somebody who did experience a lot of betrayals i'll give them that all right and i feel like this person in return could have turned around and betrayed y'all you know this person turned into an enemy for real I feel like y'all didn't even see this coming. Like th th this had y'all in y'all head. Yeah, this is someone who really wanted like you to be a doormat or something for them. Or they treat people like they're doormats. This person could be experiencing like this rock bottom energy in their life right now. They feel like they're cursed. Okay, this is somebody who has experienced this dead end ever since y'all cut ties with this person. So whoever this is collective, ever since you cut ties with this individual... This is somebody who has not been able to like completely move on. But I'm hearing you said goodbye was for the best. This is somebody who's doing the best they can to cope. To cope with this separation. This person could have been bad mouthing you guys after you after you pulled the plug on them. After you stopped talking to them collective. This something about this person's energy is giving 
like bad mouth like they had nothing but n negative stuff to say about you they blamed y'all for the separation for the friendship ending for the relationship ending they blamed you whole time it's them and they know this this person know that they were not a good friend, partnership, family member, like whoever this person was to you, they know that they were not good to you. But this is someone who, instead of healing from the trauma in their own life, the things that have happened to them, they were like intentionally trying to hold everybody else responsible. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. They wanted to make everybody feel their pain for real. The seven of cups, multiple options. This person had a lot of options, y'all. So I feel like there was an energy of procrastination on this person's behalf, right? I feel like they stopped communicating with you because this person was entertaining other options, whether this was friendships, partnerships, romantic partnerships, you know. Ultimately, you guys decided to, um, to end it, to end the situation here. You know, I feel like at one point, you guys were definitely given to this person, Okay, but this person was not giving, right? So there was an unequal give and take between you and this person here. You decided to like give back to yourself. So whatever you was giving this person, whether it was finances, whether, whether it was emotion, conversation, y'all decided to start giving that energy back to yourself. And this made this person feel defeated. Yeah, because look at this. King of Swords in reverse. This person, they, they're selfish. They're, it was always one-sided with them. This person did something that was premeditated to you, too. Like, spirit is calling them malicious. Okay? Devious, ruthless, selfish, a narcissist. Whatever this person did to you, they did it intentionally because the excuse that they're making is hurt people hurt people. Okay? So, whatever they did to you, they knew exactly what they were doing. And I feel like at one moment, at one time in your life... When this was going on, you know, you this this person made you feel defeated. And it made you kind of hesitant on love and just hesitant on dealing with people. You know, um, you guys could have just started putting yourself away, like distancing yourself from the world, you know, because you you really was trying not to be hurt again. You was trying to avoid conflict with other people for real because of what this person did to you. It's like you stopped trusting people. You stop trusting like people in, in general, like as a whole, you know? <clears throat> Excuse me. Some of y'all feel like you wasted your time with this person. Yeah, you coming out as the empress. Wow, so you're the empress. This person did all this to a divine feminine energy. Someone who's loving, who's grounded, who's beautiful. The lovers... This could have been like a divine partnership with the lover's energy here. But this person definitely had multiple choices with the lover's energy. So this person allowed their sexual desires and their lust and their temptation to um, make them betray a empress energy. Now, now, whoever you whoever you are, you you guys are happy again. You finally come to a place where your luck is turning for the better. All right, you guys are like. Um, open to new love right now, you know, and because you're keeping your heart open, it's helping you to attract wealth, attract abundance, op opportunities for real. Clarify, thank you. See, there it is. Can't make it up. The Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Wands. This is prosperity, financial, new beginnings, financial blessings and opportunities here, you know, a new job, security, stability, success, victory, winning, like literally because the Empress managed to keep his or her his or her heart open and pure, no matter what they experience with this individual, no matter what this person knowingly or unknowingly did to them, this has like literally opened up doors and gateways for new blessings, new opportunities. Like the universe is about to show out for you just to say that, you know, they're proud of you. Divine is proud of you. Some of you guys are going to be placed in the spotlight. This new, like you're going to get your prosperity from being in the spotlight for real. 
something that you invested money into is going to pay out for you or, or like you may get into investments, stocks, properties, things like that. Some of you guys are manifesting um, like real estate. Fame, fame and celebrity status, it keeps coming out for you guys, whether you're meeting somebody who gets a lot of attention, who is a actual celebrity, or this is going to be the energy that is you that you guys are going to be in, that you're going to be embodying here. You're going to, you're going to get a lot of recognition for whatever this is that you're manifesting. Whatever you're putting your energy into, whatever you guys have been waiting to present to the world, you're going to get a lot of recognition for this. Yeah, tell me, uh, give me a little bit more about this person here who say that they hurt people, hurt people, hurt people. I'm tired of looking for your replacement. Nothing and no one is good enough. Past life karmic causing current life interruptions. I'm entertaining a Jezebel spirit. I've entered, I've been entertaining a Jezebel spirit. It tried to destroy me. So this person literally abandon their empress a whole empress energy whether you're a man or a woman to entertain a jezebel spirit and this spirit turned on them turned on them and started destroying them this they could have tried to replace you i'm getting like they tried to replace you with this jezebel y'all whoever um uh, whatever this spirit is which are, you know Spirit says it's a Jezebel, but I feel like this spirit hops from person to person to carry out certain dark missions to attack you or to attack this person. This entity followed you and this person over into this lifetime. That's why I say it's past life karmic causing current life interruptions. This is a Jezebel that followed you guys into the portal into this new lifetime. And they, they literally thought that they were going to replace you with this Jezebel. But they're now seeing that this karmic is not good enough. Something about this karmic is thrown off, insane in the membrane. Something is not right with this Jezebel. Maybe they themselves are coming into some type of an awakening, you know? I don't know. Tell me more. I'm sick with guilt over how I treated you. So, yeah. Okay, this person's in a place of feeling guilty. They ain't got nothing but time. Nothing but time. You know, they, they're not around you guys. And Divine is, has this person on some type of spiritual timeout. They have nothing but time to kind of like regroup and reassess themselves and think about what they did to you guys, you know. And this person is feeling guilty about this. Tell me more. Because I heard you didn't deserve this. I heard your feelings to protect you. See, I'm saying this person is a narc. I'm sorry. Because one minute they're like, I'm sick with guilt over how I treated you, but I did that to protect you. Like, that's weird. That is so weird, you know? So tie sex magic. So that's how this, that's how this Jezebel ended up reconnecting with this person is through sex. They had sex with this person in a past life and created some type of soul tie. And that energy followed this person. That Jezebel followed them right on into this lifetime. My insatiable appetite for money, power, sex, control has landed me in a tough spot. I've created my own karma. Yeah. So it, it was everything dealing with lust. I feel like it's more lust than maybe power. Maybe they had money. Like I heard money scams and money laundering, like, like low vibrational ways of making money with this karmic here. And like I said, them and this karmic been doing some schemed out stuff for lifetimes, y'all. That's what I'm getting. That's all they do. Uh, why is this person saying that they hurt the collective to protect them? Like, I'm just trying to. I just want to know because that ain't making sense. Why? Clarify hurt your feelings to protect you. Clarify hurt your feelings to protect you. Financial problems. This person could have been broke and they want you to know that they were broke. Clarify financial prop. Look at that divine feminine. Something that could have affected. Maybe this person's lifestyle would have affected the divine feminine. Because it says financial problems and divine feminine. Like this, like this person was trying to protect you from their poverty energy or their bad luck or something that they were experiencing. That would have affected you guys financially for real. Yeah, spiritually depleted. Oh my God. <clears throat> okay. 
Um, this, I'm getting something else. Y'all, this person's higher self redirected them away from you because they knew that they were connected to a Jezebel who was sucking the life out of them. This is why this person is going through it financially. That's why you got so... I hurt your feelings to protect you. This could be your spirit guides or this person's higher self just trying to help. I'm, I'm, I'm literally getting divine, your spirit team allowed your feelings to be hurt to protect you from being spiritually depleted from this person here. This person has a spirit on them that drains people financially. And they linked up with somebody who has a similar spirit on them. That's what I'm getting, y'all. So I heard, so this isn't this person saying this. This is your spirit team saying, I hurt your feelings to protect you. So they know that by causing a separation or allowing this betrayal to happen, I heard they ain't like low key encouraged, like, yeah, go ahead and, and break my child heart so that they'll be protected from a total loss. Your, your ancestors, your spirit gods, your spirit team, they allowed, they allowed your feelings to be heard collective. They revealed something about this person that they knew was going to devastate you. And they knew you were strong enough to heal from it. Like they helped you to heal from it. But ultimately this was to stop this person or whatever is connected to this person from spiritually, de uh, spiritually and financially depleting you. That's what this was. Oh my goodness. Okay, a win is a win. A win is a win. This divine this divine feminine is so protected. So protected. All right? And they hated to do you like that. They hated to see you cry. But they would also hate it to see you in a desolate place. Okay? Without absolutely nothing. Because this person has some type of weird attachment that was going to literally deplete you. Suck the life out of you. you. You were going to experience the worst financial crisis you've ever experienced. The worst spiritual crisis that you've ever experienced because of connecting with this person. Yeah, so this was for this was for your protection. 1717 17 on my timer. You could be seeing 1717, 17, 427 could be significant to you. All right. healing touch so this person was probably going to try to get you to heal them or because you are a divine feminine you was going to feel led to led to try to heal this person and it was going to deplete you something about you trying to help this person was going to ultimately end up leaving you in a desolate place in a depleted in a depleted place so your spirit team actually did save you for real. they they did their big one with this one collective they really did Tell me more. So y'all are, you guys are being redirected to a path of wealth and abundance. It says tokens from heaven. It says angels scatter pennies from above, guiding hearts with symbols of love. Follow their trail. You'll see their light leading to blessings hidden in sight. So you guys, this divine feminine is being redirected to a path of wealth and the blessings and abundance. And away from this manipulative person here who is literally begging the universe for another chance with you. Yeah, but spirit is not going to let this happen because this person still has some attachments on them that would ultimately deplete you. I heard this would be like the nail in a coffin for real. Hmm. All right. Give me a final message for the collective thank you see wake up call this person it's like the universe is forcing this person to have a wake up call and they're pissed about it they're pissed this is somebody who's been doing everything in their power not to heal not to wake up not to take accountability here like even going so far as to dealing with the most low vibration of people they can find so that they won't feel bad about themselves and they won't feel triggered to be a better person right this person is literally having a temper tantrum because the universe is forcing them to wake up wow that's exactly what i'm getting listen y'all i'm going to extend this video if you guys are interested in the extended 
Okay, um, let's get some messages from your spirit guides here. Um, messages from, what do your spirit guides have for you? Messages, I'm sorry, what messages your spirit guides have for you? What energies are surrounding you right now? What spiritual lessons are you meant to learn? What blocks are hindering your spiritual progress? How can you align more deeply with your higher self? What are your next steps in your love journey, right? Yeah, and what you guys don't see coming. So if you guys are interested, click the link in the description box. Follow me over to the extended piece.